for your potted plants, the first thing that you want to get used to doing is actually going and just picking up your pots. And if they feel light, then chances are they could use some water. Within a few weeks of doing this, you'll get a better sense of what the normal weight of the pot is, if it's too light or if it's too heavy. So when it is too heavy, that means, you know, give it another day before you water it or, or two. So the next thing you can do is you can actually do a soil test, which basically just involves taking your finger and sticking it about the half an inch or an inch into the soil. When you pull it out and if your finger feels moist, that means you probably don't need to water it. If it feels super dry, why not give it some water? Sometimes the very top layer will look dry, but underneath it will still be moist. Now when we're talking about how to actually water, it's very important you want to water slowly. You want to water slowly to make sure that the water hits the roots and not, and it doesn't just pass through the soil. It's good to just water straight into the soil as opposed to on the top of the plant. This will help the water to reach your roots more effectively. You want to make sure that your pots have at least one or a few holes in the bottom of the pot. That's gonna make sure that any extra moisture will exit through the bottom of the pot. Now, especially with indoor plants um, that have a, a nice saucer underneath, to catch that extra water, make sure you empty that saucer so that it's not sitting in a pool of, of water all the time. Now, if we're gonna talk about plants that are in the ground, uh, many of the same principles will hold true. First of all, you can do the soil test. Go out to your plants, stick your finger into the soil. If it feels super dry, give it some water. If it feels moist, let it be. The next thing you can do is actually look at the foliage. Does it look wilty? Does it look a little bit droopy? If so, then give it some water. And then finally, when to water your plants. Plants grow due to photosynthesis and photosynthesis requires H2O for your plants to grow. So I'm of the opinion it's best to water in the morning. Like on your way out before you go to work is really a great time. So just by following these simple rules, you can help to ensure you're gonna have the healthiest, most robust garden.